Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Presentation by Matt Mosby and Josh Haupt. Twas Brillig and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. Old Mimsy were the borogoves and the mome raths outgrabe. Beware the Jabberwock, my son. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jump jump bird and shun the flumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand. Long time the manxome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while in thought. And as an uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tolgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through. The vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with his head, he went galumphing back. Hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O oh, Fraptor stay, Kalu, Kalei, he chortled in his joy. Twas Brillig, and the sly toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. All Mimsy were the Borogoves, and the Mome Wraths outgrabe. Lewis Carroll wrote both Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. He was an author, mathematician, logician, Anglican deacon, and photographer. This poem is made up of seven quatrains. It has a total of 28 lines. It has an A-B-A-B -A -B rhyme scheme, except in stanzas 5 and 6, which are an A-B-C-B -B rhyme scheme. It also has internal rhyme at lines 6, 11, 17, 19, and 23. On line 6, jaws and claws rhyme. Line 11, he and tree rhyme. Line 17, two and through rhyme. Line 19, dead and head rhyme. And on line 23, Day and Calais rhyme. This poem is meant to show how one would interpret the words. No one knows what it is to gyre or gimbal, for example, so they mentally apply their own definitions to these words based on w other words that may be similar. Through this, people may often give different definitions to these words based on their experiences. Another meaning of the poem focuses on the story of the poem and how it implies that anything can be accomplished if you put your mind to it. Another interpretation is that the poem, through its use of strange words and its story of a hero slaying a creature, is an allusion to Anglo-Saxon poetry. There is alliteration on line 23 with the words Kalu and Kalei and an onomatopoeia on line 18 with the word snicker-snack. Through the use of strange verbs, the poem describes the movements of the weird creatures in lines 1 through 4 and 25 through 28, thus providing imagery. There is also assonance on lines 2 and 26 with the words did, gyre, and gimbal. Well, after, I want us to think about the strange words that will end this amusing poem. <laughs>